Hi, I'm Oscar with Celta Resource Center, available online at drclarkstore.com. I wanted to talk to you about the whole house water filter that Dr. Clark was very adamant about people uh, using. Uh, this filter is different from other filters because it really washes the entire filter with hot water instead of cold water. So he wanted the, 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 the carbon which is inside this big filter to be thoroughly lifted up and washed and squished around with hot water periodically. She so said every five days, I would say, you know, once a week at minimum. It helps to do this every seven days because then you know which day it's happening at. It's always happening at the same day. So you can have the back was happening maybe at two o'clock in the morning so you never so you don't have to be aware of it, really. So anyway, I wanted to just to show you first how to connect it. You connect this to the main intake. So you call all the cold water that you want to um, have filtered goes in here. Then there are two outlets. When the, when the system is in the backwash mode, when you're washing this with hot water, then the house is supplied pure water through this outlet. When the system is in service mode, then the house is, supplies, is supplied uh, pure water through this outlet. So this needs to be connected to your house, those three here, and this fourth one also. So this one is used as an inlet for hot water while you're doing your backwash. So like you can see here, this is connected to this filter here. Now normally this is a lot heavier when it's full of carbon and that's how you will receive it. Carbon will already be in here. And, and we will already have washed the carbon for you, done a triple hot wash on the carbon. So basically um, what I wanted to show you next is how the water flows through the filter just to give you a basic understanding of it. So we have four solenoids on this system. So the normally open, normally open, normally closed, and normally closed. So the water flows through this filter, uh, through this solenoid here, into this filter, out of the filter, so in here and out here, in here, through this, fiber filter, which is this one, it's basically a 5 micron fiber filter, which will ensure you don't have any debris in your water from the carbon. And then the water goes to the house, so you're good, you have clean water. Now, every 5 days or every 7 days, you're going to have an automatic backwash. You're not going to have to be aware of it. Uh, so, well, during the backwash, then this if this solenoid here closes up, and this solenoid here opens up, it's all automatic. And then the water flows through this secondary filter here, which is basically also a carbon filter, but a lot smaller than this one. So you're still getting clean water to your house. Maybe not, this, is, this small filter here is not as efficient as this big one here, but it cleans pretty good especially because you don't use it that, that often. And so that it goes through this filter here and goes to your house supplying clean water to your house, okay? And uh, fills up your hot water tank because you're gonna be using a lot of hot water to clean this carbon here. So, so it goes through here into your house, into your hot water heater, and if you happen to go to the bathroom or something, or have to wash your hands or take a shower, it will also supply you water for that during the backwash. The, the backwash takes about 15 minutes. And then it goes into the hot water heater, out of the hot water heater, and into this outlet here. Flows up here. This one is normally closed, now it's open. And, and it goes in here, in here, and into your uh, filter in reverse and because 
it goes into the filtering reverse, it goes down uh, the, the tube, that there's a center tube inside here, and it lifts up the carbon and it starts to wash the carbon. And then the, the water coming out of it is thrown into a, is piped into a, a, a pipe which basically is plumbed into the uh, into waste water. So you will never see the water that is already dirty and contains a lot of the solvents, a lot of the uh, uh, undesirable toxic uh, materials that are in the water and get trapped by the carbon and are then released by the process of the backwash. So I hope this gives you sort of like a basic understanding on how it works.